Hi everyone, welcome back to Donkey Kong 64. So in this part, I'm going to just run around the island as someone who isn't DK or any of the other Kongs, just to show off what I'm actually going to do in this playthrough. So yeah, if it's not obvious already, and it bloody better be obvious, this isn't actually DK64. It's a, a hack that's just recently come out called Super Donkey Kong 64, and let me tell you, that name is not a lie. This is a lot of fun. Um, I would honestly even say it's better made than DK64 in terms of how broken it is. Uh, obviously, you know, it's still Mario, we could potentially do the backwards long jump everywhere and skip a lot of stuff, but at least we're not going through every single wall like real DK64 does. So I'm just going to play around in this. This is a completed file that I did uh, when the game came out, the day it came out actually. It has 50 stars as you can see, and the reason that I'm going to this file before I start the main section of the playthrough it's just to show off the restriction that I'm going to be using in it. Uh, the biggest difference between this and other Mario hacks that we've seen so far is that this one has extra power-ups. So like if I do a jump and then hold R, he does, like this game is equivalent to the ponytail twirl. And that little sparkle jump at the end is like an extra power-up. It's part of the special triple jump that you can also unlock. So if I hold A, he does like a fourth bigger jump. Uh, if I press L, he goes Metal Mario for a sec. It's pretty useful for some stars. And there's finally this thing over here, these little pads that are all over the place. You can just press A on them and it shoots them away up. So you kind of use this to access certain areas. Um, there is one final power up, that is the BLJ, the backwards long jump, which lets you build up speed in the negative direction and get through, you know, many walls. Although a lot of them have been pretty well made in this game, so it's still kind of hard to do. But my point is, uh, you need to buy these upgrades. When you start the game off, you don't have any of them. You're just normal Mario. And some of the stars in this game can't be gotten without any of the upgrades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how many stars I can get without getting a single upgrade. Now, I already know the answer to this. It's 37, as far as I can tell. I could be wrong. Someone could potentially have gotten more. But... I think it's 37, so I'm going to reset the game and we're going to make a start on this. This is going to be a lot of fun, this one, I think. I'm not going to stay on, stay on the file screen for too long, but the music that plays there is the DK rap, or like a um, a cappella version of it, I guess. So I'll just have a quick look over here, first of all. Yeah, this is like where the final fight of the game is. If you have a look in here, obviously it's a BLJ spot. Like I said, the BLJ does have to be unlocked. I'll elaborate more on that when I get in the first level. You can still do all the motions, this all still works, but he just doesn't build up speed. There's been like a cap put on the negative speed, which gets unlocked essentially when you buy that ability. So, we'll just head over here. Um, I'm not going to explore too much of the island right now, you'll kind of see more of it as I progress through the game. As of right now, the only level I can access is Jungle Japes, which is around the corner here. Actually, I think I just went past it. I always get mixed up between that like training area and the entrance to Japes in this hack. And just to clarify, I'm pressing E on this, it doesn't work because I haven't bought the upgrade. So, you know, if the zero star counter wasn't enough of a hint, yeah, this is a fresh file. That's Japes in there, but before we do that, I'm going to head inside DK's mouth just to show this area. This is completely useless, but it's just kind of interesting to show off. I do want to show off much of this game because uh, I do like it a lot. So. Here's Pauline from the original DK game, which she got to say... Uh, yeah, so like the Kongs are missing. I guess that's like the story of this game, right? Every Mario hack has to have some kind of silly story. And this one, according to the author, is a minor hack, but... I don't know, like, I honestly feel like it's the best one I've ever played. It's incredibly well made. Obviously, bits over here are sealed off. And just to put that thing into perspective again about the BLG, let's just see if we can do anything. Let's build up a bit, turn around. Nope. His speed is totally capped, and really there's nothing in here, I just wanted to show it off because I'm probably not going to be coming back. I mean, later on you can get into DK's house, and I think Mips is in there, but he doesn't do anything, but I'll, I'll show that off later on once I have that. So I guess, yeah, I will come back, but just for something that's kind of pointless. So let's head on back into the main island. The loading zones look a little bit odd, but whatever. This is Jungle Japes in here. So what I really like about this level right away is that it has the music from the, the, the like the first section of the level throughout the entire thing. Whereas in the real DK64, when you head into the next area, it changes to like a lamer version, I guess. Um, obviously, I will be putting a link to this hack in the description, so don't worry about that. If you want to play along with me, that'd be great. Uh, I'm going to try and get that one up up there, just because there's a couple of instances in this hack where you need to kind of use, um, you know, like non-conventional 
movement methods, I guess. Uh, a lot of them are made easier by the power-ups you can get. But let me just see if I can... I'll forget it, actually. I, I'll come back later and probably get it. So, actually, um, I was going to collect coins, but the first thing I really should do is show off what I mean by the power-up. So there's actually Bubba's in here, so I've got to be a little quick. I meant to do a long jump there, but I squandered it. So I'm just going to quickly head over to Cranky's, because this is where you would buy the power-ups. And it also serves as oops, as a second tub after the DK Isle. But I'm probably not going to be using this at all. So if you have a look here, there's doors all over the place, right? So these lead to all the levels. That's Japes, Aztec, Factory, Galleon, Fungi Forest, Creepy, uh, Crystal Cave, sorry, and Creepy Castle. So if I go over here, it'll tell me how many stars I need, right? Oh, it doesn't tell you. It just tells you you can't do it. And I've got zero right now, so I can't even enter this one, which, just for the record, requires one. Actually, did that tell me? Let's see. Uh, it just says recover a power star, I guess. So, like, none of the other ones specify, I take it. Yeah. That's fine. But if you... To find out, like, how many each of them require, you can just find their entrances on the overworld. I um, except for Castle, but we'll get to that later on. So if I stand on this, it says I don't have enough star power. I've got zero star power. Um, whenever you get a star, you get one star power, and you can spend it in here on these. Um, this doesn't take anything off of your star count, but it will take, like, one off of your star power. Or not one, but, like, six. As you can see, it costs six here. If I press right on the D-pad, we've got the spin jump. That costs ten. We've got the super armor. And the triple jump two, which is the thing I showed off at the start of this video, and then there's the BLG. So this costs 20, so in total to get all the upgrades I would need 6, 16, 24, 44 stars, and there's 50 total in the game. So in order to unlock all of these I'd need almost all the stars in the game basically. But like I said before, I want to see just how many I can get without, um, without actually doing any of that. So you may also have noticed that my coin counter reset when I exited Cranky's, that's kind of a a minor nuisance of this game, but like I said, it is minor. Um, Cranky's is like a second hub between all the levels, so okay. I'll get my first star right here and get one by breaking these open and getting all the secrets. But um, just to, I mean, you know, I don't know how clear I was with that star power explanation, but what I was trying to get at was, um, if I had Say I had 20 stars, right, and I hadn't bought any upgrades, and I wanted to buy the BLG. We saw that it cost 20 star power, so I could go into the shop, Cranky's, uh, and buy the BLG. I would then have zero star power, but I would still have 20 stars. You know what I mean? So if I wanted to buy, like, the super armor, I'd then have to get another four stars. Why did they all go black there? Or whatever. Anyway, something cool about this hack is that none of these take you out of the level. You just continue. They all kind of act like a castle secret star, I guess. I could, uh, at this point, go inside Cranky's and enter Angry Aztec that way. But I think, as a rule, I'm going to try and probably enter all the levels the, I guess, intended way through the DK Isles. I think Cranky's thing's just there as a, as a convenience. So, I'm not going to be going for all coins in this playthrough. Because a lot of these levels have a very large number of coins, and some of them require you to get kind of lucky with some of the enemies, but um, I have done this on my own, like off screen before when I was playing the game initially, and there's some kind of interesting little facts about the coins in this game that I'll show off uh, in some of the later levels. I'll also be posting my high scores in probably every video description, just in case anyone wants to see how many they can get, because it's possible I might have missed some. So we'll just go for red coins right now. How many have I got so far? Six. And they're all in this little area. You'll find that about this game. All the red coin stars are in like a kind of self-contained area in the level. Um, I think I did show off, like unintentionally I guess, how many coins are in this level, at least how many I was able to get when I was doing that little demonstration at the start of the video. And I got 124 I think it was in this level. But like I said, not going to go for it. Just going to gonna see what I can do to get the 100 coin star. I'm not gonna bother getting every individual one like I usually do. Uh, before I go over there I'm actually gonna head over to this section because I know there's quite a bunch over here. 
So, you know, like many parts of the game are kind of sealed off. There's there's nothing to do in here. You can kind of easily get yourself stuck in some of these places, so just be careful. I don't think that one's actually an example of that, but I feel like I might have done it once. So I'll like to up there, see if I can get him to come down so I can get those coins off of him. Alright. These things are always a pain, even in the main game. I don't know, I really struggle with the timing on them for some reason. Okay, so I don't think there's anything in this, but... Grab the crazy box. So yeah, um, this hack was made by Kazi. I'll be putting a link to his channel in the description because he, uh, he's done quite a lot of stuff when it comes to hacking this game. So he's definitely worth a look if you're interested in this kind of thing. Uh, I'm not going to bother killing all of them. I don't have to. Like I said, I'm only going to go for 100. I don't, have to, I don't have to worry about getting all the coins. So you would naturally think that there'd be a star hidden over here in the place that normally Chunky Kong gets into by ground pounding, but if you just do this, all you get is a, a one-up. However, there is a star above me, up here, which normally you're supposed to use, well, you can't really see it, but it is on that ledge, and normally you're supposed to use one of the power-ups to get it. Um, that is one of the stars I can't get, as far as I know. I'd love to be proven wrong on that, because that'd be such a cool one to get. But, as of right now, I'm not able to do it. And I'll explain why that is when I get to the higher up section of the level. Okay, so let's just... There's the third one. Probably don't have to kill all of these guys, but whatever. So, here's... Th this one doesn't count as a power-up, by the way. Because um, you don't have to buy it, I'm not counting it as a power-up. You only use it once, anyway. It makes Mario small. So now I can run around like this. He's still... Exactly the same, he just looks smaller and his hitbox is a little bit smaller, I guess. Let's me pop in there. And I'm actually going to go and restock every time because I'm scared. Um, it has exactly two proper uses, if you don't count that one up, and that's to come in here and get the blue coin. So, camera. And over here, there's a star in here. Now, I tried for a while to like get that star just by kind of clipping the side of this log from the outside. Kind of like the cannonless thing, and uh, thank God I could get out of that in regular Mario 64, and I was never able to do it. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible, it seems like something that would be possible to be honest. But there's really nothing else to show off from this area, so I'm going to head back. Just a small Mario because it looks kind of cool. Don't know why I bother killing those Goombas in that other area, to be honest. Kind of a waste of time. Okay, so oh gosh, the water's getting a little bit like a VHS tape. Alright, just jump in the cannon, which he has retextures to look like the cannons from DK64, really cool touch that. Um, a lot of invisible walls when you shoot yourself here, so just try and go for this section here. You'll notice that the cannons shoot you a lot straighter as well than they do in regular Mario 64, where it's kind of, like, you have to account for which angle it's going to go at. But anyway, here's the thing that I was talking about. You would normally use this, as you can see it's not working, to get over to that star over there. Now, you can't, like... There's like a bunch of invisible walls all over the place on this, so I can't actually just like jump onto this and kick my way over there. I've tried a lot. Um, the cannon can't spin round enough. Uh, I've actually even tried doing a BLG off of this tree once the ability is unlocked, of course, just to see if it was even doable. Obviously it wouldn't be in this playthrough anyway, and I couldn't actually make it. So I actually think that star is completely unobtainable, but I'd, I'd love for someone to prove me wrong on that. Let's head across this way. Lots of vines in this game. Um, they're not quite as quick as they are in real DK64, but, you know, whatever. I think there's a lack of do here. Or is that the one that I got already? There's a little switch over there. I'm going to leave that for now, and in the meantime, I'm going to head up here. And just do the kick trick, which is where you just hold A and mash B. Unless you got pretty much any steep slope. Uh, I'll just get the last of the, last of the coins that I need before I do anything else. So he's actually put five coins in some of these cork boxes, which is something you never really see in the original game. It's always three. So, oh, Also, every single stage has seven stars in all but one of them. That is just like six regular stars plus a 100 coin star. Um, so, yeah. You can just pause and check how many you've got. I've got four, so there's three more to get. Do I remember where they all are? Yes, I do. Uh, one of them's in here. As you can see, Mips is hidden where Diddy's usually captured. So I can pretty easily just jump down to this and avoid the vines. Hit this Mario switch. 
It's a bit like the grunty switches from Banjo, that's what it reminds me of anyway. I should be able to just do something like that. Nope, I guess not, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure I can do the kick thing to get back up here. Maybe if I jump higher. I, I swear this is possible because I've done it before. <laughs> But if I can't get it, I'll just take the cannon. That's, oh, it's just a side you have to do. Okay, no worries. So, now I'll head back up to where Mips was. And we'll grab that star. And that means that we've got all of the stars that we can grab in this level. Gotta pick them up. Yeah, the last star is kind of a nuisance to get. Before I actually get it the proper way, I'm going to show a method that I found that works. Because I didn't realise you could actually use the cannon for it at first. But, um, yeah, before I do that, let's just do some stupid stuff with him. Like, this for instance. <laughs> so yeah, he's he works exactly the same as he does in the real game. You can use him to clip through walls. It is of absolutely no advantage to us. But, obviously, I'm going to probably do it again because it's fun. Where else can I go with maps? Hmm. Let's see, maybe into like one of the sections. Oh, okay. I mean, that's also possible, I suppose. But well, whatever, I'm not going to bother. If you want to mess around with them, you can. Like I said, it's of no real advantage. So, let me just heal. I don't want to die. So yeah, um, I guess my only complaint about this level was that the kind of earlier areas weren't utilised that much. I think maybe putting a star where that one up was at the entrance would have been a good idea, but maybe having it higher up, maybe so you needed an ability to get it. Obviously that doesn't help me in this playthrough, but generally I think it would have made the game kind of cool. So the, the star that I'm missing, aside from the one that's over there which I can't get, is on top of this hill. And I have done this once, you can just... You can kind of see how there's like a section of that that's sitting on top of another section, just like just under the coin thing, there's like a line that goes along. You can actually get inside the top of the mountain and land on that, and it is solid ground. I've only been able to pull this off once. I mean, there's a couple ways you can get a star legit, you know, you can just use the cannon, which is what I'm going to do in this playthrough, because I can't use any... Oh! But yeah, that happens as well sometimes. If I can get up that way, I'll be really happy. But it's just really, really difficult to do it anyway. Like I said, once I glitched inside that, and I could kind of just jump up and grab the star, but it's just... It, it's mostly infeasible, so I'm gonna... gonna skip it for now, and just uh, use the cannon. And I am gonna use a save state for this, because I don't want to have to repeat this like a million times, so... I'll line it up to where I think is gonna be good enough, and then we'll just see if it is. So I'd say about there, right? I mean, that makes sense. It's kind of like in line with the cloud to the top cursor. Let's just see what happens, I guess. Almost. That was a little bit too low. Let's just put it up a little bit. Try this one instead. So this one's gotta work. Yeah. I wonder though, like, since I'm up here, I'm gonna see if I can just, like, get inside this thing. Okay, that's no. But, I mean, like, what I mean is... Like, I feel like you should be able to grab that ledge, kind of, like, cannonless. Oh, maybe not, actually, because the wall below it's, uh... Sloped off. Whatever. What's in this thing? Alright, we'll just grab the star first, and then we'll have a look. Okay. So... I mean, if, if there is anything in there, it'll just be a one-up. But, I must see. Yep. I managed to get it, so that's cool. I guess uh, I'm gonna head back to the level entrance now. Or maybe not. Um, this is really hard to get out of. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was, uh, that was kinda neat. But yeah, we're pretty much done with Jungle Japes. Like I said, not going to go for all coins. It's not particularly challenging in almost every level. There's a couple where it is a bit of a pain. One where it's incredibly difficult. I'll be covering that a little bit later on. Those of you who watch my stream have probably seen that already. As I spent quite a lot of time doing it for basically nothing. I wonder if there's another way to get up here. I've done it like with that exact method that was shown off there before, but... Oh, wait, maybe you can just do this, actually. Yeah, and then, like, hold back. Let's just see. I'll only try it a couple of times. I don't really care that much. It's only a one-up. Try it once more, this time in the middle. Okay, well, that didn't even make it. Well, whatever. That'll do it for this video. I'll, uh, head back to the exit here and just show that you can't actually exit that way. The only way to get out is to, uh... Do this apparently. 
Let's see there, like that makes me wonder if there actually is like a loading zone behind that. I'm certain there isn't, but it's just kind of interesting how he's like left that in there. I guess. Anyway, you just have to pause and hit exit course. So that's gonna do it for this part. In the next part, I guess I'm gonna go and do the second level of the game, Angry Aztec, where they get six stars down. So I'll see you all for that. Thanks for watching.